All right, uh, let's try to prove this a very useful limit involving e. All right, All right remember that uh, this limit is used when we try to prove that the uh, derivative e to the x is e to the x. All right, so uh, let's try to prove this using the definition of e, uh, which is stated here, and a little bit of substitution. All right, so uh, let's start with substitution. Uh, we're going to let e to the h minus 1 be x by adding 1 to both sides of the equation we know that uh, e to the h is equal to 1 plus x by taking the natural log of both sides we can isolate h h is equal to natural log of 1 plus x All right uh, we know that uh, h is approaching 0 uh, how about x Right, so as h approaches 0, uh, e to the h approaches 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so x is also approaching 0. Right, so uh, let's consider this uh, following limit. All right, you notice that uh, I took the, um, the reciprocal of the original limit. But since this is a little bit cleaner, so I'm going to work on this first, then take the reciprocal, reciprocal back later. All right, so using the substitution, uh, we can rewrite this limit in terms of uh, x, all right? So uh, h approaches 0 becomes uh, x approaches 0, and h is replaced by natural log of 1 plus x, and then e to the h minus 1 is replaced by x, all right? And also, uh, we can use the log property to place uh, 1 over x as a power up here. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So we're going to get uh, this limit here. All right, so limit. So you can see that the 1 over x is up here. All right, uh, since natural log is a continuous function, we can squeeze this limit inside the natural log. So uh, which gives us this. All right, so you can see that the limit inside the natural log is exactly the definition of e. So replacing that limit by e, we get natural log of e, which is equal to 1. All right, by taking the reciprocal 1, uh, it's still going to be 1. So the limit of uh, e to the h minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0 is equal to 1. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.